Okay, and welcome to Val's Visions and Designs. Uh, good to see you this afternoon. Trying to keep my days and my nights straight today. Uh, I do have a couple of quick announcements before we get started. And uh, then we're going to dive in and make this cute little gnome wreath. Look at how cute he is. And uh, this cute little sign that goes with it. Now, both of these items did come from the wreath shop. Uh, just so if you guys wanted to try to replicate what I'm going to make today, uh, let me go ahead and pull this up on my tablet so I can see comments. Uh, thank you so much. I uh, hope that we can have a nice group today. Uh, I do have a, um, a giveaway plan, so if we get enough viewers today, I will have a giveaway. So uh, just say hi when you come in so I know that you're here. And uh, if you don't mind, sprinkle the love, guys. I really appreciate that. Um, so my real quick announcements, and then I'll hush. Hey, Nancy, how are you? Um, okay, so I did reach 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel early this morning. Yay, thank y'all. I'm so excited. So as promised, I am going to be doing an Angel Reef giveaway. Uh, I'll make it next Sunday, and then next Sunday, I will leave instructions with you how to enter the contest, okay? I'm trying to come up with a way to keep it, you know, to where it's more fair for everybody to get the opportunity to actually get uh, to win it. Hi, Cherry. How you doing? Hey, Pam. Good morning, Kathy. Uh, good to see you guys. Um, also, I have a 10% off sale all of my fall and Halloween uh, in my Etsy shop, and my beautiful daughter, Casey, who is my moderator, she'll be posting my links. Uh, make sure if you haven't um, liked or followed my business page um, that you do that, guys, because this is where you'll find out more for the contest. And I'm just going to show you real uh, just real quick. This is the, uh, the ribbon that's going to be for the Angel's Halo. I don't know if y'all can see that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Uh, I thought this would be so pretty for the angel, so I'm really excited up about making it. Uh, it is going to be a tricolored of rose gold, gold, and silver, so I think it'll be real pretty. Um, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pan on down. Hey, Abnell. Hey, Debbie. Uh, that's okay. Just glad to see that y'all are here today. Again, just sprinkle the love. And uh, let me go ahead and pan down because I think this is going to be really cute, guys. How can a gnome not be cute? And, of course, I'm not really centered in here, but y'all don't care if I'm centered or not. All right, so let me move that over there and bring up the wreath. Uh, this is on a 15-inch uh, work frame, and I'm using the black pencil ties. That's just always what my favorite to use is the pencil ties. Hey, Bev. Good to see ya. Um, so what we're doing is I'm doing ruffles and I'm alternating my ruffles. So I have the, uh, let me just grab a couple pieces here so y'all can see. I have cut my 10 inch pieces of mesh at 30 inches long. So we're using this red and black border stripe uh, mesh. Again, this is cut at 30 inches. And then I also have the uh, black and white check. This is always one of my favorites. I think I say it every time I actually use it. Uh, this is uh, the black and white check mesh. And I have cut these at 30 inches. And then I'm also adding, because the little gnome has a little gray hat, I wanted to pull out just a little bit of the gray or the silver. So I am adding one little 10-inch um, roll of the silver in each of these ties. So you can kind of see I've gotten a good start because you know I usually do. Hey, Karen. Hey, Tamala. Y'all don't forget, love. Sprinkle the love. I really do appreciate it, guys. You loved your custom wreath. Oh, I'm so glad, Karen. I had so much fun making that for you. Um, okay, so the gift uh, is, I saved it from the last time. If we can get up to 50 today, guys, uh, this is the gift. It is a Merry Christmas sign with the uh, Merry Christmas uh, ribbon that goes with it. Hopefully, y'all can see that. So, if we can get up to 50 today, guys, this is what I'm going to give away to one lucky viewer. So, make sure that you're active and you share because Casey will be keeping track 
uh, a course of what you're uh, what you're doing. And thank you for those hearts, guys. Okay, so I think this is going to be pretty because you can see what I've done um, already. Uh, the ribbons are cut at 12 inches, and I'm using this cute gnome sweet gnome. And this came from uh, the reshop. And then the black and white, this is actually white with the black and white checked border. Uh, this I bought off a shop on Etsy. And then I am using the buffalo check in the red and black. And I'm pairing that up with this uh, have a Merry Christmas, fa la 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 ribbon that I picked up at Michael's. So you guys know how I like to go ahead and put everything in as I'm going. Uh, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Uh, I've already done the full bottom row. So I'm just going to open up my ties on the top. Uh, I did finish a, a cardinal wreath this morning and I was very pleased with how that turned out. I will try to get that listed. Uh, probably Tuesday along with this one in my Etsy shop. It's This one's not listed yet because I just haven't had time to calculate, you know, how much I've put into it. Hey, Denise, how y'all doing? Good to see ya. Okay, and then, of course, you know, I always put that center crossbar in and add some ruffles to this, too, that way that our bow, our sign, and our little gnome will have a nice little place to, uh, to lay. And I put this, guys, right on that top row uh, you just run it from one crossbar to the crossbar across from it, and that's how you attach uh, some mesh to that center. So let's go ahead and get started, because like I said, I know there's a lot, even though I've done a lot, there's kind of a lot to this. Let me kind of push my computer out of the way. So we're just going to make uh, ruffles today. I haven't done ruffles in a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and lay out my mesh. Uh, and I like to put my little potato rock on it to hold it there in place and then just kind of fold that raw edge under. Now, I did um, use my impulse sealer to cut uh, my mesh. I just like that a lot. So, uh, but you can still fold it under. It's not really necessary to do it when you use uh, an impulse sealer or a wood burner because that seals that, that mesh for you and keeps it from uh, raveling. Well, at least it reduces the raveling, okay? So now I've got nice, nice big full 30 inch ruffle. And let's see, I'm gonna come right to this tie and just lay that ruffle in. And before I twist it off too much, I'm gonna go ahead and add that little silver curl because I do wanna make sure that this little color pops in here because of the gnome. So it's a 10 inch, 10 inch piece, I can never talk. And you're just gonna curl it up to where you have a nice little row. Hey, Roy, how are you? Hey, Shelly, good to see you, girl. Uh, yes, again, Casey, my daughter, she's the moderator. Bless her heart. She's such a sweet girl to her mama. All right, so I'm just going to put this in here. And then in this set, uh, I am putting in the buffalo check and the little ho-ho-ho ribbon. These are cut at 12 inches. I have one 2.5 and one 1.5. And I'm just going to lay that in right on top and then just twist it. And I am going to go ahead and cut these uh, twist ties. Hey, Mimi, how you doing, sweetie? Good to see you. Uh, Y'all, again, please like and share. I really would appreciate it because I really do want to have a giveaway. Y'all know I love giving things away. Now, when you lay your ruffle in, just be sure that you pull up the uh, ruffle underneath it so that that doesn't get uh, buried. You want this ruffle underneath it to show too. All right, so now I'm going to grab a piece of the border stripe and we'll go ahead and ruffle this one. Uh, Debbie, what does it look like? Did you not get to see the little uh, gnome? He's so cute. I'll show it again here in just a second. He came from the wreath shop and I checked in there this morning. Um, they are available, and he comes in a uh, black and white checked suit or a red and black checked suit. Now, I picked the black and white check just because I knew I already had a lot of the red uh, going on in this, so I wanted to, you know, just give it a little bit more of a uh, accent. So here is our little gnome. Like I said, he has the uh, buffalo check uh, 
black and white, but you can also buy them in the red and black. Uh, and then he's going to go with this cute little Merry Christmas gnome sign. So I don't think any of us ever get tired of gnomes. I just think they are so cute. Uh, I hadn't made one yet this year, so I thought I'd go ahead and make one. All right, so I'm going to put my curl in right on top of that ruffle that I just made. And so that just gives that that little extra pop uh, that I thought looked really pretty because I wanted a little extra pop in the color. And then this is the set that I am putting down the cute little gnome ribbon and the uh, white with the uh, border, border on it. So that one's next. Thank you. I know, isn't he darling? Hey, Susie, how are you? Well, you're new. It's good to have you. Welcome to Val's Visions and Designs. Uh, I am Val, and uh, I am a talker. Everybody in here will tell you that I am a talker. I am not shy. Uh, and I'm also, I have a, a, a very short attention span. <laughs> so uh, that's why I usually try to limit my uh, lives to about an hour, no more than an hour, hour and 15 minutes, because I know that uh, I, I don't really care myself for long lives, and I try to, you know, keep mine short, too. Um, okay, again, just lift up your ruffles from underneath where you just made the other ruffle, and make sure they're all spread out so you get that nice fullness. All right, the next we're doing the black and check, so I'm just alternating them back and forth. Uh, oh, the spires. Oh, no, Shelly. I am so, so sorry. Are you in the middle of the fire, Shelly? I sure hope not. Uh, I know I was watching a, a, a an article this morning that on the Weather Channel that was showing all the places uh, out west where the wildfires were, uh, you know, in California, in Oregon, in uh Washington. Oh, I mean, just going everywhere. It's horrible. Hey, Susie. I do, too. I, Abnell, I do, too. I really love, love, love these colors. Uh, I guess I, I was trying to think of, um, uh, I was looking at uh, something a little while ago, because Casey has asked me to make a particular wreath for her, and uh, while I was shopping for it, I thought to myself, I really haven't made a traditional uh, red and green Christmas wreath yet this year. So I was kind of shopping around looking for something, you know, a little bit more traditional. Because uh, I know a lot of people like the traditional, you know, the red and the green. Uh, so this one is definitely not the traditional, but people do love the farmhouse too. Um, all right, I got my buffalo going in here. Again, y'all sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Hey, JC. How you doing, sweetie? Good to see you. Uh, okay, I'm going to put these ribbons in here. So, um, just so you'll know that the little um, angel that I'm going to be making next week, it is on a unique in the creek uh, triangle board. I'm having a lot of fun using those. Uh, I'm using a, a pedal technique that might be a little bit more complicated than the last pedal um, technique. Um, that I actually did the Christmas tree on, but it makes such a beautiful angel. And uh, I wanted this angel that I give away to just be beautiful because I am so uh, thankful to y'all for being so good and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Uh, you're five miles away from a fire. Oh, no. Shelly, I am so sorry. We will keep you in our prayers. Y'all keep Shelly and anybody out there in those fires in your prayers because that's just devastating. You know, if you get evacuated, you're going to worry about your your property and all of your possessions. So uh, we just need to pray for rain. That's what we need to pray for. Pray for rain uh, out west so that can help stop uh a lot of those fires because I'm sure if they could get some rain that would help tremendously I am doing great JC how are you um yes I, I I mean I know I lived at the Gulf and right now the Gulf is going through I think there's what seven named storms right now out in the uh, in the uh, uh, Atlantic Ocean and uh, they're looking at having to do some evacuations there too and I lived there for such a long time, and I mean, I just know 
uh, how devastating it is. This has been quite the year between, you know, everything. It just seems like it just never quite stops uh, the, the nightmares of what's going on. But we just need to pray uh, a lot for everything in our country. I mean, I'm a firm believer in the power of prayer, guys. I just... Uh, I, I just, you know, we, we just need to, to gather together and just, you know, lift our arms up to the Lord because that's a lot of stuff going on and we just need some big miracles. All right, this is going to be nice and full. Uh, again, I just love, 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 love using this check mesh. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, every time I, I use it, I'm never disappointed in it. Um, oh, so level two is warning, like, and then level three is get out now. Well, I hope and pray it never gets to that. Uh, I hope that really never gets to that. All right, so let's continue to go right up through here and ruffle this. Y'all, thank you for uh, giving me a weekend off. I had a, a nice, peaceful weekend. I did make a lot of wreaths, and I'm glad to be back today. Um, I do miss doing these so much. I have so much fun uh, getting to come on here and see everybody. And uh, I also will say I've been doing a lot of YouTube uh, videos, not the live so much, but the videos. So if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I know Casey will be putting out those links as well. Uh, I've been putting up a whole lot uh, of, of uh Oh, candy canes and scarecrow wreaths and just lots of cute little things you can make on a budget. So, you know, those are lots of fun to get to watch too, guys. All right, so there's that set and this set gets these ribbons. You know, I put my ribbons in as I go around and sometimes if I don't pay attention, it doesn't take long. I lose track of which one goes where. Um... You're making something now with that mesh and you love it. I know I do too. It's just so full of, uh, you know, it's just a good full mesh. Uh, it's never disappointed me. The quality is so, so good. Um, hey, Karen. Good to see you. I've got two Karens on here. Uh, you're welcome, Shelly. We'll, we'll keep you in our prayers. Like I said, we just got to keep every, everything in our prayers. The country... Uh, the weather, there's just a lot that's going on this year. Alright, so since I had already done a lot of this, this won't take that long today, uh, but I do think it's a cute design. It's just your basic ruffle. I love how border stripe mesh looks in a ruffle. Uh, I've always loved how that looks. Now, it's just so pretty when it fans out in that ruffle, uh, and I thought that would really pick up the colors in the sign. So that's why I chose that. So I'm just going to lay this one in here. We only have a couple more pieces to go. Um, what's everybody else up to? Uh, how long did I cut the tails on this one? Hey, Brandon. Uh, I cut these. Hey, Fanna. I cut these at 12 inches, Susie. Uh, I kind of have a... Even Casey said it this morning. It's so funny. She knows how predictable her mama is. If I do a 15-inch uh, work frame, uh, I will generally always do them 12 inches unless I'm doing, whoops, this is a curl, uh, unless I'm doing something else unique. So they're 12 inches. Uh, good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. I appreciate y'all being here. I know it's tough. There's so many people now doing lies. It's uh, hard to get around and see them all and get your work done. I truly understand that. All right, so again, just kind of make sure that you lift up these ruffles so as you're going around, they don't get um, smushed up under here with what you're doing. And then I just fold my ribbons in half and just fold them almost right at the middle and then just kind of pinch them right down the center angle them down just a little bit and then just lay those right in there and then I'm going to twist it about three times and then cut off the excess. Uh, I usually will cut off the excess because uh, I just don't want it to uh, snag the mesh. I've gone to the trouble to wood burn it. I don't want to uh, 
you know, to anything to snag and start that mesh to fray. And then after I um, clip them off, guys, I just fold them down under. Uh, that way it will keep them from popping back up. And we've got one left of this one right here. Uh, you started a watch party on your page? Okay, well, good. Now, one thing about watch parties is people in the watch parties will not see. We can't see them on here. I don't know if their numbers count. Uh, I'm never quite sure how that works. Um, yes, I think the red is beautiful too. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I don't. We can't. I can't see the comments, nor can Casey see comments. So if we were to have a giveaway, um, she would not be able to see those in the watch party. So guys, if you're in a watch party, um, just be sure you jump on over to my page and follow on here. Casey will put out that uh, my business page link again. You can just click right on that link and it will bring you right to my page. And that way um, we'll see your comments and we'll also know that you're here. So um, Casey will go ahead and do that for us. All right. I love, do y'all love this silver getting popped in here? I do. I think that silver just really added a lot to this design. So it's basically, I'm looking at it, it's uh, Georgia Bulldog colors. If you're from Georgia, that's pretty much what this is. This is the Georgia Bulldog colors. We've got the red and the black and the silver. So uh, uh, yes, 10% off in my Etsy shop. Uh, Y'all don't forget that too. I do still have uh, a couple of the Halloween witch hat, witch hat kits left in my shop also uh, under the um, wreath kits. I don't have a new kit ready, but I am working on a, a upcoming winter kit that's going to have one of Casey's hand-painted signs in it. Uh, I've only done, let's see, I only, I'm only going to have three of those. Uh, for sale, so I'll be sure my my private group will get the uh, first uh, first dibs on them. Uh, that's just one of the advantages of being in my private group. You get to see uh, the stuff first. Hey, Ronnie, good to see you. Hope you're feeling good today. Yay, glad to see you guys. All right, this is our last ruffle. Uh, if you just joined late, we're just making 30-inch ruffles. And I'm alternating the colors between the black and white checked and this red border stripe mesh. And this is our last one going in. So I'm smoothing out, pulling out those ruffles. And then making sure that they're all spread out and open. This one's trying to hide underneath. There we go. And then I'm adding one little silver curl to the, uh, you love the silver. Hey, Judy, good to see you. Uh, let's see, you don't see it. Hey, Cindy, good to see y'all. Thank y'all for coming in. Um, I appreciate y'all coming in, Kyle Murray. I'm waving at Kyle. I know Kyle's not going to stay, uh, but I appreciate, appreciate saying hi to me, Kyle. Good to see you. Uh, y'all be safe down there at the coast, because I know it's scary at the coast. It's scary it's on the on the Gulf. It's scary over there on the uh, west side. It's just uh, it's just not. It's just kind of scary everywhere right now. All right. So let me put. Did I miss one? Or I probably must have cut too many ribbons. That would not surprise me. I do that a lot. Um. Okay. So we're up to 32. Come on, guys. Come on. You still listening? That's good. <laughs> you know what? If we get up to. Mm, Let's get up to 40, and I'll give that away. Because y'all know I love to give stuff away. Uh, I really do. I love to share. God is good to me, and I love to give back. All right, so I'm just going to twist this one in. And then I'm going to hold this camera up and let y'all get a good look at what we've got so far. Uh, thank y'all for that. Hey, Nancy, good to see you. Appreciate your coming in. Uh, let me show y'all again what today's giveaway is because y'all know I love to have a giveaway uh, this is the Merry Christmas sign uh, now this is the metal sign and you see how it has the holly and then you'll get five yards of the ribbon that goes with it that says the Merry Christmas and it has all the holly so this is a 
perfect match, guys. Perfect match. So that will be our giveaway. Um, okay, so now let me show y'all what we got so far. Try to make this thing go up quiet. There we go. Here is the wreath so far. Look how nice and full. Uh, I love that little pop of silver. I think that's going to look so pretty with our gnome and our gnome sign. So um, what I'm going to do next, guys, is go ahead and add some ruffles to this center piece that I um, put down there just so we'll have something in that center. Let me grab a couple of half pipe cleaners here. Uh, I just think that it's easier if you have that center so that when you go to put our little gnome in here and our our Merry Christmas, and then y'all know I have a big bow because that's what I do is I always make big bows. You know, you want to have something in here so everything can rest on that. So here is the bow uh, that I made ahead of time. And I actually made this bow in another one of my private groups. Uh, we were having a bow tutorial that day. And I made this one, and I've had it made for quite some time. Uh, it's got the addition of this uh, red swirly ribbon in it. And then, let me see, what was the other color? Oh, I put in more <laughs> Alabama or Georgia. There's some of that. Uh, so this is a nice big ribbon. So I think between the ribbon, the bow, I mean, the bow and the um, sign and the gnome, this is going to be a nice full wreath, guys. It's going to be nice and full. So I'm going to go ahead and just make these ruffles to go in the center. Um, thank you. It is really full. I like them that way. Thank you, Susie. I appreciate that. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, I just love making wreaths, guys. It's just love, 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 love making wreaths. And, and now that I'm having, uh, I have my own private group. I'm having so much fun with the ladies. We are such a great group, and a lot of my visionaires are on here today, ladies. I appreciate y'all uh, being on here, supporting me. Uh, we're having so much fun together. Uh, we truly do enjoy being with each other. Judy, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. So glad you're here. Um, Debbie, I find most of my ribbons either at craft outlet or the wreath shop now most of these ribbons today did come from the wreath shop um they're an excellent place to go to um i, sh I buy a lot of stuff from there um and then I, this little ribbon here uh, actually came from michael's now michael's does have out all of their christmas ribbon um they're starting to put that out um a lot so, you know, you guys keep your eyes open to uh, for Michael's, too. They have good ribbon, um, Hobby Lobby. You are, too, Nancy. Okay, good. Yes, Nancy's on here, and Mimi, and Debbie, and Abnell. Uh, let me see. Susie's in here. She's in my private group. Hi, Patricia from West Virginia. Good to see you. Uh, let's see who else I've missed. I'm sorry if I miss greeting you in here. Uh, I do. I really love to be able to greet y'all because that means so much to me um, to be able to see that. Okay, I see 38. Come on, guys. We can do it. I want a giveaway. I want to do a giveaway. Come on, guys. You enjoyed our Zoom call yesterday. Yes. Uh, I'm doing a little things differently than some of the groups that I've been in. Um, we are doing a monthly Zoom call, and yesterday um, we went through Etsy because um, a lot of people want to open up an Etsy shop, but they're not quite sure uh, how to, you know, how to work your way and navigate around it. So uh, we spent what guys about an hour and a half um, going over Etsy yesterday. All right, I'm just looking for one more half of a pipe cleaner because I know I got one somewhere. Uh, so we did. We reviewed Etsy, went through it all yesterday. So, yes, please share, guys. We're almost there. Um, okay, let's pop these little pieces into the center. And uh, let me go ahead and turn on my glue gun because I think that we're going to have time. We got, we got 30 minutes left in this hour. So I want to show you all how I'm going to put the little gnome uh, in here as well. So I'm just going to take these ruffles, guys. 
and I just put them down on this center crossbar uh, that I made ahead of time and then you'll just take these ruffles and just attach them. This just gives the center of your wreath uh, a little bit of substance so that everything can actually um, you know, rest up in there. It also helps you lift up all these ruffles so your ruffles don't dip down. You see how these are dipping down into your, your wreath so they really wouldn't be seen? So if you pop these little ruffles in here, um, then you will be able to lift all of that mesh up. And I've got four just because I know this is such a large wreath. Now, I had more left of the border stripe mesh, so that's why I just went ahead and made them all um, the same color. But a lot of times I will, you know, make the center uh, both of the colors that are in the wreath. And I just love alternating colors. I just think it adds so much interest to a wreath um, rather than having, a, you know, the entire sign. Okay, I see 39. That's close enough for me. We're going to have a giveaway today. Thank y'all so much for sharing. I hope there it is. There's the 40. Love y'all. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. Good to see you. Y'all stay in and be active and chit-chat and uh, make sure you're engaging so Casey can pick a winner for the sign and the ribbon. And then I will get that gift uh, mailed to you later this week. Because y'all know how much I love having giveaways. I really do. <laughs> I love to share. Thank you. I see those hearts, guys. That means so much to me. I really appreciate that. All right. And I got one more to put in here in the center. And then this should be nice and full and ready for our sign. Now, you know I'm going to ask you guys what the best layout is. Because I do that every time. Don't I, Mimi? <laughs> but I don't always listen, but I like to ask. Uh, this has got the uh, horizontal horizontal sign. No, not horizontal, guys. Listen to me. I need to go back to math class. Uh, the vertical sign, and I am really loving, loving the opportunity to work with that uh, vertical signs, uh, you know, just the different sign shapes. So, thank y'all for the love. I appreciate it. You want to win, Debbie? Thank you, Robin. Hey, everybody's eligible to win. Everybody's eligible to win. So, just uh, be active and talk and share and engage. All right. Now, see how much fuller this is going to make it? So, this will give us now a good solid surface to come in with our bow. And I know that when I was kind of looking at it earlier... I was kind of thinking the bow up top, look at this bow, I'm going to have to cut those tails down. The little gnome maybe down here. Now this was just my initial thoughts, guys. Uh, and then this sign over here. Now this is kind of what I was thinking. Now look at y'all, thank y'all for those loves and likes, I really appreciate that. I do too, Stephanie, good to see you, girl. This um, this ribbon right here, I will tell you, I had to go to Etsy to find it, uh, to get this little border uh, ribbon. They have it in the two and a half inch on the wreath shop, but I went to, uh, it's called shopfifthstreet.com. See if I can get this up here where you guys can see it. Shopfifthstreet.com, that is an Etsy shop. Uh, in order to find it in the one and a half inch. And I got two rolls of it because I really love it. Um, I wanted to be able to pop a little bit of the white um, from the sign. I wanted to pop the red and I wanted to get this buffalo check that goes around the, um, the border. So that's why I chose this ribbon to do that. Now the little gnome, um, what do y'all think about this setup? Does this look okay? Um, Thank you, Pam. Do you guys think this looks okay? Uh, you're making a wreath with a giveaway sign and ribbon. Wonderful. Oh, I love I love sharing, guys. It just means so much to me. You know, I appreciate y'all's support. Hey, Linda, good to see you watching from Ohio. Oh, I know. I love gnomes, too. Um, okay, so now this little gnome, now he does have 
a little bag of, I think it's like little rocks that, that they put in here. Some Sometimes people remove it, but weight really doesn't um, cause your, your shipments to go, sorry, I'm out of the frame. Uh, weight doesn't really cause your shipments to get uh, higher cost in, in this day and time. So I was kind of thinking about leaving the rocks in there in case whoever may buy this wreath, they may want to take the gnome off uh, after Christmas and display him somewhere else in their house. And he sits up all by himself. That's what the rocks do. So in case somebody wants to do that with this cute little gnome and enjoy him all winter, I'm not going to remove the rocks. But I am going to put a piece of wire right through the back of it and then hot glue that wire in. So what I am using is a 22 gauge uh, floral wire. And I'm sure this came from, oh, Michael's, uh, all of those Hobby Lobby. They all have this. Uh, so I'm going to give myself a generous piece of that and then just fold it in half. And I know that in order for him to stay, I'm going to have to put it up close to the top because this is automatically going to keep it weighed uh, down here. So I'm going to put it about right up here where his hat is. And I just poke a little hole with my little dangerous ice pick and hopefully I don't poke myself with it. I'm just going to poke a little hole and hopefully be able to run this wire through here. Sometimes it gets a little testy to do it. Uh, sometimes it comes through real easy. Thank you. That time it came through real easy. So now I have that little piece of wire uh, running right through his body. And then I'm just going to twist it on. And then I'm going to dab a little bit of hot glue right there where I twisted it into that fabric. So that doesn't come loose. And I'm going to set him aside and let him dry for just a minute. Because uh, I want to have, you know, plenty of time for that to dry. Um, let's see. Y'all chit-chatting away. Good to see y'all. Look at y'all. Y'all are finding some buddies on here. That's always nice, too, uh, when you can find a craft buddy that's close by where you live. Okay. So let's go ahead and add the sign. Again, I, I love these. Uh, vertical signs. I just think they're so neat because it's just different. So I'm going to go right down through the layers of mesh and attach my sign. And then guys, I do always cover the backs of my wreaths. Um, I just think that's just one of those little extra steps that uh, is nice to do for your customer. Um, I also ship mine in nice large um, bags that I get from uh, Ace Hardware, the large clear bags, because I think that that way they have something they can store it in as well um, later after, you know, the season is over. So I just think that's huge. And that's something that I do on uh, things, items that I make. And this one, I know I found some nice uh, of the round placemats um, from uh, Walmart, and sometimes I can get them from Dollar Tree, so I normally do um, do that. Hey, Trisha, good to see you. All right, guys, look, we're up to 42 now. Maybe that's because everybody wants to win something today, because you know Val, she loves to give stuff away. Uh, what do I use? Uh, yes, I usually will use, Cherry, uh, uh, one of the round placemats. And then if I can't find the placemats in all the colors um, that I want, then I will use the felt. You know, you can buy the felt in uh, bulk. Um, let's see. Let me show you a package of the felt. I usually find these at Walmart. Oops, here we go. So you can buy a pack. This is 36 by 72. And uh, this is the felt. And I think there's a good bit in here. Uh, I will cut, uh, I'll just lay a wreath on it, a solid, you know, just the frame, and then trace around it, and then cut this, and then attach that to the back. Uh, or, like I said, I'll use a um, the uh, round placemat, woven placemats, when you can find those. Um, okay, so now, uh, let's see, I saw somebody else had a question. 
foam board. Yes, foam board can work too. And I think the bags, guys, really are. Um, let's see, Susie, I have actually four um, Chanel stems. Rick added them for me. I have one on each of the sides, uh, one on the bottom, one on the top. And this one that's on this side, uh, we'll go again and I'll attach this one to that cross center bar because you can't, um, you won't be able to reach anything. Let me just flip it over because you see how it's in the middle. Uh, you can't reach anything. So you actually, I just attach that part of the side right to this little crossbar. And so that's why these crossbars are super, super handy because you can do uh, so many things with that crossbar and then here's where I attach the others. I try to wrap these around a, uh, a, a the crossbar too just to give it that little extra bit of support. I know I don't always show y'all all that but we're doing good on our time today. So now my sign is nice and he's there. He's not going to come off. He's tight. Uh, you just don't want to push it in so tight that he actually flattens your layers of your mesh. And then just make sure, you know, you pull out these little curls, your ribbons. You know, you don't want any of these things stuck up under the sign. You want to make sure all that stuff comes out and shows. So that's what I'm doing right there. Um, and then the bow, like I said, the bow is kind of big. And I know I'm going to have to cut these tails back a little bit because I've got my tails kind of long. So let me go ahead and just trim down these tails just a little bit. Susie, that crossbar is just absolutely wonderful. Uh, it makes it so nice. Um, Shelly, I saw you asking questions about my private group. Um, right now, I still have an introductory offer. Uh, it was $10 through the end of October. Uh, that gets you one private tutorial a week, and then we do the one Zoom call per month. Uh, and then also after October 31st, the uh, regular price will be $13.50 a month. And again, that will be for at least one private tutorial per week. And sometimes those are live. Uh, and I do show step by step of everything that I do from the very beginning. Uh, and then you will have that one Zoom call a month, which is really more of a business call. Uh, I go over, we're going to go over Etsy, uh, setting up your um, business page on Facebook. So uh, I, the ladies that I have in this group are just tremendous. They're wonderful ladies, uh, a great group of Christians. We're just really a good group of Christian ladies. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get this in here. And uh, then when we get this in here, we'll add on our little gnome and then we'll do our giveaway. So, I'm going to put it, I think, guys, up here towards the top. Now, you could always come back in and add, uh, you know, some other embellishments to your wreath. Uh, I just try not to go too overboard on embellishments because I do like to see um, the mesh and I like to see the sign. Uh, I don't, I like the, um, to create, you know, a, uh, interest all around the wreath, but I also don't want to create confusion in the wreath. I think sometimes you can put so much in a wreath that it does nothing but cause confusion. Now, I've just flipped this around to the back, and I'm just twist tying this around. Again, I try to go around the crossbar, and um, that's something else, you guys. I, on my uh, YouTube channel, I have several bow tutorials. Uh, I know that I don't always do those all on my live. Again, just for the sake of time, uh, I try not to, you know, let my lives get to be too long. All right, so now, of course, I've completely smushed the bow. But you could pop in here some. I know I found them at Hobby Lobby this week, the cute little uh, filler, filler glitter balls. Uh, you could pop a couple of the... Uh, little ornaments in now that uh, you know Christmas stuff is starting to come back out if you do put in ornaments just make sure that they're shatterproof uh, ornaments I really do have a, a preference now to the glitter uh, balls more than I do the ornaments because I just think they pack safer and ship safer they're less likely you know to get broken um, or even cracked or damaged in shipping 
All right, so I'm going to put Mr. Gnome in here, and he's so cute. So this is dry now. Again, the weight is in the bottom. I'm leaving that little sack in there. I'm not removing that. And we're going to put him down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to go through the mesh and try to get him about where I want him. So I think I would very well, I might add some little cute little, uh, uh, just some cute little glitter balls uh, just to, you know, pep up some of these areas. You know, I might add like a little white glitter ball uh, just as long again. You know, this mesh is beautiful. Uh, the ribbons are beautiful, so I just don't want to create a lot of confusion on my wreath. I like to let the wreath, um, you know, do its talking. Uh, make sure that these cute little ribbons with the gnomes, you know, show. Uh, that's just that's just the way I make wreaths. So, you know, if you guys kind of like that teaching style, uh, that's what I would say. Your My group might be right for you. Uh, I'm a little bit less... Uh, <laughs> I'm not quite as into doing as many embellishments, okay? All right, let's lift this up and take a look. I think this has come out really cute, guys. Looky here. Oh, I'm going to have to tighten him back down in there a little bit more. Um, because he is a little bit rocky. Let me see if I can flip him over here and tie him a little bit tighter. Oh, I didn't even get him tied on anything. Well, that would explain why he's bouncing around. I completely missed my frame. So tie it to your frame. If you guys can see what I'm doing, I'm just going in here with that wire. And now I'm actually attaching it to something. So that should help keep it staying in there. Now he's better. Now he's better. There we go. So, I, you know, this would be cute, too, if you wanted to put, uh, you know, a little something up here in the bow. Uh, now we got it, guys. So, I mean, I am always reserve the right to change my mind. He looks a little low, so I may move him up a little bit taller. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look at it afterwards and, uh, and decide for sure. Um, you know, but I think it's turned out real cute. What do you guys think? You like the colors? I'm loving the colors. I think the colors are pretty. Uh, let's see if I can get back here a little bit further. Oopsie. I always can never get it straight. So what do you guys think? Uh, you think it's cool? Thank you, Susie. I think he's adorable. Uh, I love the pops of the silver in there because, like I said, that kind of you know, brings out the little gray in his little cap. Um, I may lift him up a little bit. He might be um, sitting down a little bit too low. So that's, that may be one thing after I, hung, I hang it up. Uh, I might, you know, go ahead and bring him up just a little bit more. So, um, okay, that was fun, guys. I've been dying to make this one. Uh, it's so cute. Let me get up here where I can talk to you. And uh, see what Casey has for us today. And unplug my thank you guys. I, I, I appreciate that. I just love making these. It'll it'll be listed uh, in my shop probably by around Tuesday. Uh, that one and the uh, Christmas cardinal that I made this morning. Uh, I didn't bring that one up here, um, but uh, it it, it uh, will be listed by Tuesday also. So. Uh, so again, guys, thank you. I did not make him, uh, JC. The gnome came from the wreath shop. Uh, there are plenty of them in there. I checked this morning. Um, Craft Outlet doesn't really have any. They're mostly just Easter. But the wreath shop has all kind of cute gnomes, and they have this guy, and he's available in the red and the black, and he's available in the white and the black, and they had other little gnomes, too. So uh, y'all just go to the go to the wreath shop and uh, take a take a look there to see what they have available. And uh, I'm gonna get my pen ready this time because sometimes I forget to write down uh, the winner of the gift we have today. Thank you, JC. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so Casey's been kind of keeping up. So baby girl, I'm gonna put you on the spot now. She will not be getting put on the spot. Uh, for my wreath giveaway, guys. Uh, she is uh, not going to have to pick the winner on that. I have come up with a totally different way for that one. But here is what I'm working on.
for the Christmas angel, if y'all can see it, that is the uh, the pink, the silver, and the um, gold, uh, and I'm making these into the lolly petal, uh, and then I showed you what her little headband was going to be, so that will be my wreath giveaway, and uh, we'll make it live next Sunday, and then um, I'll tell you how I'm going to uh, post that so that everybody can enter the contest. Okay, so this is today's gift. Uh, the Merry Christmas sign and the five yards of the Christmas ribbon. Uh, if you're not interested in it and you don't want to win, guys, um, please be sure to tell Casey no. Don't pick me. But um, otherwise, if you are interested in winning, uh, I'll give any of y'all that don't want to win just a chance to say no. Uh, I'm not interested. Thank y'all for all those likes. I appreciate that. It's going to be pretty. Uh, I promise y'all, I've, I've been practicing on that lolly petal so I could make it just as beautiful as I could because I want this wreath to be, um, I really want it to be special, y'all. Uh, like I said, I couldn't do this without y'all. I couldn't do this without your love and your support. So uh, I think the Christmas thing will be pretty. She's going to be very pretty. Um, okay, so did anybody not want to be in the gift today, not interested in the gift today? Uh, if so, tell Casey no. Um, you've already won so much, don't pick me. Okay, so Susie eliminated it. Uh, yes, Judy, anybody, anybody is eligible that wants to win. Catherine, welcome from Alabama. Thank you for sprinkling. Uh, whereabouts in Alabama are you from? I'm in Auburn, Alabama, so I'm a war eagle. Okay, so Casey, um... Let's see, Bev is not, doesn't want to worry about winning. Uh, Susie says she's already won. So, uh, thank you, Robin. I, I appreciate that, y'all. It is just so fun for me. Okay, so everybody else. JC says, Casey won before, please not me. Yes, yes, JC won a wreath um, from me. She actually, this is something we made in my private group, guys. And we made it with that same sign uh, that JC uh, one from me in a wreath. If y'all can see it, this tobacco basket, we made this in my private group. Uh, this is, I'm keeping because Debbie gave me the sign and then Mimi gave me this cute little charm for Team Val. Y'all probably can't see it. Uh, it just has a V on it. It's a little cheerleader. <laughs> so I put it right up here. So I thought I'd start me a little charm collection and just put them up here around this. So uh, this is what we made, guys, in my private group. So, I'm trying to do some different things in there, not just wreaths all the time, because we like to learn how to do different things. So, uh, okay, me, 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 Debbie says, yes, I'd love to have one. Okay, guys, Casey, are you ready to pick a winner? And then I'm going to write it down, and y'all make sure you private message me. Uh, your full name, your address, uh, where I need to ship it to, and I will ship it. I will mail this by the post office, so it will get mailed out probably, probably middle of next week. Oh, thank you, JC. Thank you, y'all. Thank you so much. So, Casey, tell me when you're ready. Denise doesn't want to, so eliminate Denise. Uh, a lot of my uh, group members are. <laughs> I know it was sweet of Mimi. She's a uh, my girls. Like I said, my ladies in my group, guys, it's over the top. I mean, these ladies are have the biggest hearts and are so 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 wonderful. I couldn't ask for beautiful, more wonderful people and hearts in that group. Okay, you like that spot, Mimi? I thought it was cute too. I, like I said, I'm gonna keep me up a, a little charm collection up there. So uh, I thought, well, that's gonna be a way I can start collecting. Uh, little cute charms and putting it up there because that that wreath will stay up there forever. That's not coming down. <laughs> okay, Casey, Casey Bug, have you got somebody yet, baby? So y'all make sure you tune back in next week uh, to watch me make the Christmas angel, and then how I'm going to um uh set up the contest for the winner. Thank y'all. I know. <laughs> All right, putting Casey on the spot. 
Who is the winner, Casey? Go ahead and announce it whenever you're ready. Abnell, congratulations. Hi, Elsie, good to see you. I'm so glad you came today. I hope that you will be back. So congratulations, Abnell. Uh, Abnell is one of Val's, they're calling it Team Val. She's a part of Team Val. She's a visionary. Uh, so Abnell, this is going to you. Congratulations. Uh, make sure that you private message me and I'm writing your name down right now to put on this uh, so that I will make sure and get that mail to you, Abnell. So congratulations. Uh, yay, that's wonderful. Okay, so you guys stay tuned. Like I said, come back next week um, so you can uh, watch me finish off that Christmas angel and then again, I'll give you all the information you need. Uh, on how we're going to uh, uh, for the contest and again that is just my way of saying thank you to uh, all of you that follow me and have subscribed to my YouTube channel and again if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel uh, please subscribe because like I said I'm doing a lot of fun stuff in there too and uh, I guess that's it guys that's all I got for today so um, God bless y'all have a wonderful week. Uh, prayers to all of you out there in the dangerous spots. Uh, prayers to just everybody. All of us need prayers. So God bless you. Mwah. I love y'all. See you next week.